let's see what we can do about this here now. How do I see myself? I wonder. How do you people see me? Those are some questions we can answer with the camera. As you can see, I'm twisting and turning my camera so that I can zoom in to myself. And this program is, of course, about social networks. How did you guess? Well, maybe because it's in the name. Maybe because I want to metaphorically zoom in and have myself seen better, have myself seen in more detail and with more interest. Maybe I want to be artsy. We have no clue. Maybe I want you to see me as I see the world now without glasses. Question is, is this necessary? Is it really needed that everything we see about each other and ourselves were to be skewed? And you might say, but Mario, how is this having anything to do with social media websites and communities? As well as all those big, big networks, you know what I'm talking about, but I can't name them. How come they are so influencing our perspective of things? How come this is happening? How come we see other people like blurred spots? Because you see, we never do actually get to see other people on social media networks. We never do get to see the truth behind the person. We need to adjust. We need to somehow make certain that we actually see what's going on. But we can't do so behind a computer profile. We don't show ourselves. We simply hide the unnecessary details. We hide pictures. Girls take pictures up to their neck. Guys Photoshop themselves and other stuff happens. Also, this is my dog. Look at her. Look at her dog. Hello, dog. Lick my face. This is a real dog. Her name is Vanil. And I'm not afraid to hide her at all. I put her everywhere. But most people hide their pets completely. Why so? Why do you need to hide your pet if you don't hide yourself from the internet? So that's what I'm really asking. Where is the privacy we used to give to ourselves? Where did it go? Really? Because it's gone. And it's not coming back anytime soon. I'm not even talking about the privacy other people gave to us. Where is the privacy we used to give to ourselves? It doesn't exist anymore. And we should really think about it as a human race because that is something that we used to have that influenced our development and our maturity process. We wouldn't grow up to be the individuals that our, that our parents were, that we were, my generation, because we had some privacy. People younger than me don't know the meaning of the word privacy. They simply don't care if everyone knows. And those stories are becoming more and more frequent this has been linked there, and this has been leaked there, and this video was posted, and there's a sex tape, and there's this sex tape, and that sex tape, and this recording, and those pictures. What the hell are you guys doing? Is it really just the new thing, really the new trend for the last five to six years to just overshare? Since when is it appropriate to tell random strangers about your dreams of scat fetish? I don't think it really is. I don't think people should really care. I don't think you should be able to make too much money of making other people look at your stuff, look at what you're doing in your private life. Granted, if you create something like a video like I'm doing here with dog and other stuff, 
you should be able to post that. That's expression. But there's a very big difference between expression and how to say it, swarming the internet with your own shit. That's a very big difference. We lost somewhere along the way. And it should come back. Really, guys, it should come back. So share this video. Share my little message this week. And my opinion on social media networks, profiles, and all that good stuff is that it's all shit. And we should really change our approach to it. So share, subscribe, like or dislike. I love the haters. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.